everyone, I'm Teacher Nev, and welcome back to Statistics and Probability Class. After knowing formulating the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population proportion, you will now learn how to identify its appropriate test statistic. Population proportion, P, is a part of the population having a specific characteristic and is expressed in terms of a fraction, decimal, or percentage of the entire population. When written in symbols, we have small p equals number of members in the population having a specific characteristic over number of members in the population. And at whatever value will be um, computed, we have always express p in terms of percent. On the other hand, some called proportion um, p hat is a ratio of the number of elements in a sample obtaining a specific characteristic over the number of elements in a sample or the sample size n. In symbols, we write it this way. p hat equals x over n, where x is the number of desired outcomes and n is the number of sample elements. Example, 35% of senior high school students of Mahusay National High School are enrolled in STEM strand. A survey was conducted to 100 randomly selected STEM strand students to determine if they have gadgets. Out of 100 respondents, 57 said that they have a gadget. Find the population proportion and sample proportion. The percentage of the STEM strand students represents the population proportion or percentage that makes P equals 35% equals 0.35. Among these STEM strand students, the percentage representing those having gadgets is the sample proportion. That is, P hat equals X over N equals number of STEM strand students with gadget over number of senior high school students. So, we have, by substitution, we have 57 over 100 and P hat is equal to 0.57. The following assumptions are considered in testing cases that involve proportion, percentage, or probability. First, binomial experiment conditions are satisfied. This means that there is a fixed number of independent trials with constant probabilities and that there are two outcomes in each trial which we may classify as success P and failure Q. Thus, P plus Q equals 1 or Q equals 1 minus P. Second, conditions N, P should be greater than or equal to 5, and N, Q is greater than or equal to 5. Those two conditions are both satisfied in order for the binomial distribution of sample proportion be approximated by a normal distribution with mu equals N, P, and sigma equals square root of n p q. For a large size of sample proportions, central limit theorem or CLT is used. Let us check whether the two conditions are satisfied by the previous example. Definitely, the responses having exact, have exactly two outcomes. That is, either has a gadget, the success, or do not have a gadget, the failure. Hence, the first condition is satisfied. To satisfy the second condition, we consider the hypothesized value of the population proportion P equals 0.35 with N equals 100. To derive Q, we use Q equals 1 minus P. By substitution, we have 1 minus 0.35. Hence, Q is 0.65. The second condition states that NP is greater than or equal to 5 and NQ is greater than or equal to 5 must be both satisfied. For NP is greater than or equal to 5, when we substitute the values of N and P, we have 100 times 0 0.35 should be greater than or equal to 5. And 100 times 0 0.35 is 35 and it is really greater than 5. Now, for NQ is greater than or equal to 5, by substitution, the inequality becomes 
100 times 0 0.65, it should be greater than or equal to 5. And 100 multiplied by 0 0.65 is 65, and it is greater than 5. Now, since both are satisfied, then the second condition is met. Thus, the sample size is really large enough to use CLT. And in this situation, the test statistic we need to use is the Z-test statistic for proportions or Z sub com or computed Z value. The Z-test statistic for population proportion is computed Z value equals P hat minus P over square root of PQ over N. Or computed Z value equals P hat minus P over square root of P times 1 minus P over N. Where computed Z value is the Z test statistic for proportion P hat um, is the sample proportion X over N. P is the hypothesized value of the population proportion. N is the sample size or the number of observations in the sample and Q is obtained by 1 minus P. I hope you learned this lesson from the example. Until next time.